Hello friends, I hope everyone is doing good. This is Vinit. Welcome to my YouTube channel Techies Hub. So today we will be covering how we can do an estimate in Azure DevOps. So some of you have already heard about Azure DevOps. So Azure DevOps is the evolution of the VSTS, which is a Visual Studio Team Service. So with the Azure uh, DevOps, actually we can uh, it will be helpful for us to build the application to test the application and we can also deploy it using the CI CD. So actually it covers the entire application lifecycle and it has the uh, other uh, capabilities like uh, we can have the requirements in this uh, Azure DevOps and we can have reporting then we can have the project management the test management and all those things that can be included in the Azure DevOps. So that's pretty much a, a small uh, brief of the Azure DevOps. Let's move on to the estimation part in uh, Azure DevOps. So before that actually uh, I have already added the, uh, some of the extension from the marketplace. So if you click on this icon it will be if you want to add something go to the browse marketplace and add it. So I have already added the extensions for this demo. So you can see I have the estimate, the retrospective, the storyline, the team capacity management and the test manager for TFS 2017. So these are all the extensions that I have already added and uh, so I will this uh, this video will be covering about the estimate and the storyline and the retrospective I will be covering in a different video. So let's start with our estimates. So this is the test project that I have already created. So in the test project we have an overview section then we have the board section which will have the backlogs and sprints then we have the repository so the code that the developers write will be uh, will be uh, pushed to this uh, repos then we have the pipeline this will be for the deployment and the test plan this is this this is the place where we'll have the test cases and all those things and then we have the final artifacts so if you go to the boards and if you come down you can see something called a storyline so this is one of the way that we can do an estimate in azure devops so this is how uh, the page that you will get for the storyline estimation and you can see the estimation story points that we can give are 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and 20. So these are the values that we can give for a story and uh, if you go to the sprints, so you can see that this is a request that's coming to each of the person in the team. So how can we send a request? So if you go to the sprint and if you go to the any of the uh, sprints and select a story there is a three dots uh, in this page just click on it and there is something called request estimate so when we click on this request estimate this story will be sent to all the uh, team members in their uh, this storyline page and it will be asking for asking them to provide an estimate so that's how uh, this uh, story came since I have asked for an estimation so if I click on this so if you have the description and all those things, it will be coming under this uh, story title and the user can uh, go through the story and based on that uh, you can give the uh, story points. So we have two team members and they, we have started giving our story points so you can see the recommendation. So once everyone gives them story points then there will be a recommended story point so that we can select or uh, we can uh, just uh, reward it and we can come to an understanding. So. If you feel that you need more information, then there is something called request clarification. So then the moderator will again discuss the story once again with everyone. And when everyone is okay, then he will ask, he will uh, send the request again. So from the story, he will uh, trigger the request estimate and it will be coming again to each team member. <coughs> and they will be providing the estimate again. And then they will check whether uh, this is okay or not. So once it is fine, then we will be clicking on this complete button and this story point will be updated in the story. So this uh, Amazon building address will story uh, will have the uh, story point that is uh, available in the recommendation screen once we click on the complete. So this is pretty much about how we can do the storyline estimate. Then there is one more estimate that we have in the Azure DevOps that is the, um, this estimate. So I'm just going to that page. So here uh, we will be creating a session and we will be uh, selecting which uh, which estimation technique we have to use. This is the Fibonacci series or the start size and all those things. And then the all the people in the team will again get a chance to uh, provide the estimate. And based on that, uh, the final story point will be calculated. So for this, I will have to create a session. So I'll be creating the session name like sprint uh, one estimate 
and then I'll be selecting a team so my team then I will be selecting my sprint and then the cards so you can see the third one is exact Fibonacci series and the first one till 13 is the Fibonacci series and then they are taking the values as multiple of 20 then 40 then 100 so something like that and the, the second one in the middle is the chart size so I will be going with the default one and I will be clicking on create button so you can see one session has created and I'll be uh, clicking on this uh, sprint one estimate so it's connecting to the server and it will sh uh, show the all the stories available in the that spring so if I click on one of the story then it will show me the story details and actually I have already provided some estimate for this so it's showing the estimate as 5 so what I can give I can give my vote here like I am voting for three story points and you can see this all votes means how many members are there if there are five members then it will be showing what are the uh, estimate that they have given so once it is done then we will click on the reveal so you can see that uh, here will be something like uh, the votes that everyone has provided like three five eight or something and <laughs> this is the uh, recommended point after checking on this so once I click on this, it is saying that the estimate is saved. So it is just like the same behavior that we tried earlier. So it's like everyone will give their point and based on that a recommendation a recommended story point will be displayed. Once we click on the recommended save uh, uh, recommended story point, it will be saved. You can see that I have clicked on three. So now the estimate is displayed as the three. So that is how uh, we are doing. So we will be going through each stories. Everyone will bear put their vote. If there is any discrepancy, then we will talk on it. Then we will decide on final story point and then we'll click on it and the story point will be updated to the story. So that is how we do the estimate in Azure DevOps. Once it is done, we will leave the session and it will have the all the estimation details. So I guess you have got some understanding on how we can do, use, do the estimation using storyline and the estimate extension. So that's it guys. Thank you.